What up? Everyone go uh, check out the email I just sent. There is a lot of info in there on the bracket challenge tonight. What up, bros? Thank you for coming to hang out. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. My girlfriend's laughing at my sincerity. What the hell else would I be doing right now, you know? So this is my first stream as a Twitch affiliate, which I think is pretty tight. I'm not totally sure what that means, but uh, I think it's a good thing. I'm trying to see how I can undo my, uh, my scheduled stream right now. Hmm, not sure about that, Crowbar. Has anyone else had that problem? Also, the stream is coming through for everyone, right? I was a little worried about uh, maybe getting kicked off because I had previously scheduled a stream. I think I need to undo that stream. Delete that. Trash that. Same issue, okay. Uh, are you guys trying on uh, mobile or on desktop? Because the app works on both mobile and desktop. You're on a laptop, okay. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Hopefully Sean will be on soon and uh, he can help with that. Sean Vincel made the app. It's a pretty dope app. Big thanks to him for doing that. We got 75 people in the bracket challenge, which is awesome. And I think it could have been way more if I didn't get nervous about revealing the bracket app in the newsletter the other day. Leathernecks, baby. This is a big, big game. Louisville's more talented than us. Their top two players are from Illinois. We haven't played Louisville yet in a stream, I don't think. Louisville's won two national titles. There's an app for the bracket challenge, Catfish Johnson. If you go into the newsletter, hopefully you're subscribed to the newsletter. Someone drop a newsletter link, if you don't mind. Or I can do that, actually. I'm on a computer. There you go. So that's an app to the, that's a link to the app. Cool. There you go. Thanks, Next Nation. Appreciate that. My first stream is a Twitch affiliate. I think that means you guys can give me money, right? I'm not supposed to say that. My girlfriend's telling me not to say that. What does she know about video games? She hasn't played ones in Sonic 2. Which is a great game, love Sonic 2. What exactly does that mean? So yeah, there's a bracket challenge we're doing this year. If we lose tonight, we're intending to stream the first two rounds, assuming we win the first round. Uh, if we lose tonight, we're just gonna do the results of the bracket challenge tonight and crown a winner and then do the off season. Sonic and Knuckles was great. I loved Sonic and Knuckles. That felt like some futuristic shit in 1997 or whenever it was released. All right, I'm just going to uh, send a quick tweet.
All right, there's Sean. Sean at Hoops Insight is Sean's email address. Sean is literally the best. Such a nice guy. Thank you so much for making this app. It's awesome. The college basketball editor uh, from The Athletic followed me today because of this, so that's tight. How has Deke been doing on the Sonics? Uh, so we had a Deke stream the other night. I think we lost every game we watched pretty much. Uh, but Deke, in one of the games we simmed, had a game winner at the buzzer. So he's been starting. He's doing pretty well. I'm kind of experimenting with how I want to do that series. I'm thinking that I might do a YouTube video. I made a bad YouTube video that I sent out in the last stream that maybe some people watched. Wanted to start this stream a little early to give people the opportunity to uh, talk about the bracket picks. If you got any questions, hit up Sean. I'm here too. Uh, the most popular pick from what I saw earlier, I can reveal this, right? Yukon. People are liking Yukon. Leathernecks, also a popular pick. I had to pick Western Illinois. I'm not going to bet against my own team. Coach Rick, keys to the game against Louisville. Yeah, so I think the biggest key to the game is we need a Jorts takeover. If you look at Louisville's roster, they do not have a power forward or a center listed on their first page of their roster. They got a bunch of good small forwards, though, so they might play small. Uh, but I think we need Jorts to take over. He's averaged 26 a game this year. He broke the program's all-time scoring record by being the first player to ever score 2,000 points. So I think George has to drop 30 in every game of the tournament for us to go on a run. Uh, of course, Louisville's got two great Chicago kids. Yeah, I think Fry and Niang can uh, sort of lock each other up. Yeah, we're going to import Fats into the 2K spinoff, 2K20 spinoff. I'm into that. All right, other key to the game against Louisville, besides for scoring on the inside, is going to be limiting their threes. If Louisville gets hot from three, we're going to be in trouble. They have some great guards on that team. I have the roster in the email I just sent out. Louisville's got a lot of guards. They don't have a lot of size. They got guards and wings. So I think we got to pound the ball inside to Jorts. We need to limit their three-pointers. And I think another key to the game is just going to be good substitution patterns. I'm actually going to change the substitution pattern... Uh, as soon as I go to the game, I'm going to try to make sure my guards don't get overextended. That's been an issue in the past. And we're only going to play man-to-man -man defense, not zone defense. Fuck the zone. We're out on the zone. Coach, any worries that the up-and-down guard play will bury the team before the game gets started? I mean, Louisville's definitely got the guard advantage. I love Kim Cohn, though. If you guys were around for the... Uh, Stream the other day when we played Duke. Kim Cohn balled out in that game. He's an 89. If we can win two games, I think he'll be in the 90s. So, Kim Cohn, don't get in the Cone zone. I think Kim Cohn's in for a big day. And then I like Price, but I compared Price in the newsletter to Tyrese Halliburton, who was the point guard this year for Iowa State, projected lottery pick in the real NBA draft coming up. Uh, because he's just not very assertive, but he's a great passer and a great shooter. Doesn't really take people off the bounce to get to the rim. So Price is good. He's just sort of a weird, weirdo player. 6'5 point guard. Coach, do you have any plans to discipline some of the redshirt players that were found betting on the bracket? That's hearsay. That's hearsay. We're not addressing that. Second round picks aren't working. I mean, uh, email Sean at Hoops Insight. He should be able to help you out. Someone just responded to me on Twitter. It's Kim Cohn season. I love that message. Kim Cohn, our first ever international recruit out of France. Sorry the second round picks aren't working. Uh, you can email Sean. Everything worked out for me, so... Coach, George had a disappointing season last year, 
the new recruits this year put pressure on to perform. I disagree with that. Jorts was Summit League Player of the Year. He averaged 18 a game, which is really good. Then this year he just blew up. So Jorts is a stud. He's been a stud. Now he's going down as, you know, probably the second greatest center in Leathernecks history behind Deke Van. And where is Jorts from? San Antonio, also the hometown of Deke Van. There's a strong lineage of big men from San Antonio, David Robinson, Tim Duncan, Deke Van, Jorts. Coach, Fulton's shooting, have you fixed it yet? Because, I mean, come on, no, I haven't. He's got a weird shot, but he's a capable shooter. It goes in. So the picks will save. Sometimes you just got to wait a minute for the picks in the bracket app to save. I was putting some of them in twice. Uh, but it seems like they all populate after a couple minutes. Do I project any underclassmen leaving early this year? No. Unless Cohn does, but he's a dark horse, so no, I don't think so. AK-33 and Borisov Grimes each left last year, but they were projected lotto picks, so... I switched to mobile and still pick a name. I'm sorry, man. I don't know. It seems to be working out for most people. Yeah, go a little slower. It works fine. Okay, I'm going to... Uh... What up, Abby? We got the whole gang here. I love this. I'm going to uh... go set up the TV. You guys can come with me. Big game tonight. I'm excited. Just so you guys know, I think the new plan is going to be to stream the season opener every year for the hardcore fans. Play through the season... And then uh, start streaming every tournament game. Now that I am a Twitch affiliate, whatever that means. How's the picture? Decent? Not good? It looks okay. Hang on, let's see. I thought we had it set up pretty good earlier. Apparently not. Story of my life. Let's see. Oh, I got a subscription. Thank you, Abby. My first subscription. Hell yeah. Appreciate that. Looks like we need to tilt this up a little bit. Abby, you're the best. Really appreciate you supporting the series. That looks pretty good, right? I'm going to turn off the lights, get the glare out. Big game for Western Illinois. Big game for Jorts. 7-1 center. I'll show you why Jorts is so dominant. And look at those numbers. I mean, three years in a row of being a high scorer. But look at his tendencies. Jorts just wants to do everything. He wants to drive. He wants to shoot mid-range. He wants to finish in close. As you can see, he's a pretty well-rounded player in terms of his skill set. Former number 171 overall recruit, number nine center out of San Antonio. Very good three-point shooter. Very good free throw shooter. Not a super great rebounder. Not a super great shot blocker, but he's got quick hands. He has A-plus defensive awareness. We love Jorts. Appreciate everyone coming out tonight. We're gonna to start this off in about 15 minutes. We'll run through the bracket real quick. Who's got this Vandy team winning it all? They beat us in the regular season. I think three people picked Vandy to win it all. They're a good team. What are they rated? Are they 100 overall? They're 99 overall. I picked Ole Miss to go to the Final Four. I like this Ole Miss team. They got ballers at every position. Someone said Pitt? Where is Pitt? Is Pitt even in the tournament? My buddy told me he picked Michigan today. 
decent pick. Top 20 RPI team. Thank you for the subscription, Lola. Love that. Pit playing USC. Are they on the other side of the bracket? Pit playing USC. That USC team's awesome. So at last check, Sean told me there were 75 entries. Yeah, 75 as for the start of Twitch. You know what we should do right now? Sim to our game and a few of these games will be done already. That'll be fun to look at. We'll see who won their first round games. I'm assuming we're not the very first game of the NCAA tournament. We are on the Thursday, obviously. Thank you guys so much for coming out. It really means a lot to me. Actually, now I'm thinking that we shouldn't look at the uh, tournament results because people might still be filling them out. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're going to look at uh, some of the player stats from this year. So Kim Cohn. Let's talk about Kim Cohn. Look at these shooting percentages out of Cohn. Shoots 49.4% from the field. 45% from three, 72% from the line, not an elite free throw shooter. Price is our best free throw shooter. He shot 40, almost 48% from three, but shot 38% from the field. Yeah, Crowbar, you can email to Sean at Hoops Insight. Email your picks. He'll hook it up. Thank you guys. Really appreciate Leatherneck Nation coming out strong today. Championship game, we need a final score. That's a fun twist. A lot of Yukon picks, I noticed. Let's look at Yukon. They might be the best team this year. They're in the old Big East, which is just super loaded. UConn's got Stetson Cooper, a 6'7 shooting guard, projected as a top pick in the NBA draft. They also have Maris Martinez, another projected top pick, another shooting guard, 295s. They're good. I mean, they got a star center. Who's their power forward? I guess Jarrell, a sophomore, former number 42 overall recruit. Yeah, is Calhoun still coaching UConn in this game? That's a good question. How about this DePaul team? DePaul, Arizona is my most anticipated first round game. Does UConn have a 300 pound center? That's hilarious. 300 pound center. Ah, Jorts will run around him. Give me speed over size all day, baby. Give me speed over size. Here's this Michigan team that a couple people picked to win it all. It's a good looking Michigan team. Koki Francis. Now that's the that's a cool point guard name right there. Quality team for the Wolverines. Michigan State didn't make it this year, I don't think. Kansas always a popular pick. Who's got Western Illinois versus Kansas? Coach, can you get any Connecticut recruits? Like guys out of Connecticut? Maybe. We'll see. Whose numbers do we want to see? The 300 pound center on UConn? He averaged 15 a game. Does he shoot threes? Yeah, he shoots threes. A minus and three point shooting pretty fast too. Who is this guy? He's a freak. Former number two center in his class. Out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Hometown of the Menzingers, I believe. His vert is an A minus, so he can get up. Any Menzingers fans in the chat? I picked this Gonzaga team to go to the final four. Donald Eby, a power forward, A plus potential. Former number two due to his position, senior, total monster. Surprised he's at only a 95 with A-plus potential.
They got good guards. They got a center next to them. This Gonzaga team is loaded. We don't want to see them. Another team that I picked to go to the Final Four in my bracket, and obviously I picked uh, Western Illinois to win it all. I'm not going to bet against my own team. Miami, sleeper Miami. Look at that. They got a good center, a good power forward, a couple good two guards, a good wing. This is just a good team. Three of their four best players are seniors. I got Miami in the final four, baby. What other teams we want to look at? Oh, I should uh, do the take off the zone, no zone. No zone 2020. We're going man-to-man -man defense. 2023, I guess I should say. All man-to-man. -man. I don't want to change any of this other stuff, but I am going to change the rotations. What I really want is Kata to get as many minutes as possible. 18 minutes. That should be good. That's what I'm doing for the rotations. So the app is gonna update when the tournament's over, I guess, and I fill in all the results. Or if we win both games tonight, then I'll fill in the results. So that, yeah, we're gonna... Kata, Kata's my only guard off the bench. He's the only guard we got. We got a... We got nine guys in the rotation. Henry is redshirting. So yeah, Kate is the only guard we got. In terms of turnover prone, I mean, he's an 85 in passing, 82 in handles, he's fast. He shoots a little bit. He's only a freshman, but he was really good in the game against Duke. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty good. He was number 58 overall recruit. I like this guy. He's gonna come off the bench for two years and start for two years. Yeah, he's a freshman. I mean, the awareness, I think, goes up as you get older. Kim Ko, not great awareness, but I love his stats. Second best three-point shooter on the team is an 80. You guys want to see any other teams? We got a little time to kill. We got eight minutes to kill. We can look at recruiting, actually. It looks like we're gonna land one dude in recruiting for sure. Yeah, we should look at Dayton, good call. Looks like we're gonna land Alan Cunningham who looks amazing, 6'10 power forward, who averaged 19 boards a game. Number 67 overall, he's gonna be awesome. And then we need guards, badly. This guy looks incredible by the numbers, Jay Stivers out of Mount Prospect. But he's not concerned with being close to home, which is the best thing we have going for him. And he, his number three priority is playing in a big time program. So I'm worried we're gonna lose him. Mississippi State wants him, Indiana wants him. Tron Whaley, he could be someone who's coming. Not an elite recruit, but looks solid. 42% three point shooter, a lot of steals. I always look for that high steal rate. Cunningham's gonna be a beast, dude. Cunningham is going to be awesome yeah let's let's look at Dayton real quick we're getting ready to start this thank you for everyone for coming out love Leatherneck Nation appreciate you guys so much Dayton they're in the A10 in 08 right yeah Dayton a lot of seniors four best players are seniors that scares me three of them are shooting guards though Put that guy at small forward, that guy at shooting guard, that guy that guy at point guard. Easy. That's a good team if they do that. We'll see what they actually do. They got some size, too. This ain't a bad team. I feel better about playing Dayton than Louisville. I think Louisville is going to be real tough. Louisville is going to be real, real tough. Who picked Charlotte to make the Final Four? Charlotte's got a good team.
Getting ready to start it up, turning off the lights. One sec here, guys. Brian, Big Country Reeves. I hope someone creates Brian Reeves. If they win the pool, they create Big Country. How sick would that be? Can we look at the app as it happens? Iowa State, Dark Horse, like that. NC State looks good, I think. As soon as we get to uh, 7.30, we'll look at the games remaining. You got five minutes, Crowbar. You got five minutes. Big Country went to Oklahoma State, right? I got the Zags in the final four, too. Clemson and NC State for the ship. Wow. ACC bias right there. I'm kind of concerned about guards. If we don't, uh, if we don't land our boy, there's not a lot of guards to pick from. Maybe this guy? I sort of like this dude. We don't need a guard to come in and play right away, which is why I'm fine with an international guy this year. Jesus Rivera, this guy looks nasty out of Puerto Rico. And we got my boy from Lithuania, who's number one priority, I thought was being close to home. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I do randomly find some guys who aren't being recruited. That's true. Three minutes. Let's look and see who's got the best recruiting class so far. UConn's got the top prospect. Gonzaga's got the number two prospect. Then Duke, UNC, Duke, UConn again. And then Louisville. All point guards. I guess one shooting guard. Yeah, Rivera looks tight. I would love to get him. All right, we're just about to do this. There's a lot of info on the bracket challenge in the uh, in the newsletter I just sent out. This is my first app as a Twitch or my first stream as a Twitch affiliate. So we're gonna keep the streams coming. Hopefully you guys enjoy the streams. I love seeing the comment section. I don't really know how to use Twitch, so if someone wants to like give me pointers on what I can do to make it cooler, let me know. Thank you, Crowbar. I'm sorry you had some technical difficulties. Appreciate you filling out the bracket. Appreciate you being on the stream. Louisville, uh, or Utah. I mean, Utah, they're probably in 94. Two minutes and we're official. Their players weren't that good. Let's look at Utah real quick. Never trust a Pac-10 team, you know? Old school Pac-10 here. Oh, they're not in the Pac-10. What's U Utah in in 08? The Mountain West, maybe? Mountain West. Uh, they got a Senators in 94 and then some decent... Yeah, I mean, they look pretty good to me. They got one elite player and a nice supporting cast. I think they're good. They got all starters in the 80s with one stud. Randall Green, oh man, he, he almost scored as much as Jorts this year. Did Jorts lead the country in scoring? Let's see that. Jorts was second in the, or tied for first in the country in scoring, wow. Jorts, unreal, I didn't realize that. Let's go Jorts. All right, brackets are locked in. Let's look at the games that have happened so far for the first time. Dayton has won. They will be our matchup should we win this game. USC takes out Pitt. George Washington wins. I had USC. Who picked that upset? I know I did. I had USC there. They look good. DePaul takes out Arizona. Wow. I had Arizona. DePaul wins. Point guard is a double-double. DePaul making moves. One more look at my team, some pep talks. Let's go. 
Let's go, we're running this. Rotations look good. Let's not overextend the starters. The road to the championship begins today, my friends. Louisville, Western Illinois. No, Western Illinois is not an All-American yet. Great reference. Hopefully Jor Jorts makes it. Great point. Here we go, baby. Man, I hate that they have the team unity on us and the advantage in overall. It's okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Center. He ain't out of Chicago, 95. Fry's got his work cut out for him tonight. Fry's also a 95. He's also 6'8. He's also a senior. Western Illinois, a lot of pressure. They're starting the Yang at the four. They're starting a true freshman at center. Let's go, Jorts. Who hit that three for us? Price? Price hit it? Let's go, Price. Fulton, the freshman. Great pass, Jorts. Jorts to Fry. Fry knocks it down. Another three for Western Illinois. Bracket contest. Love the NBA three line. Love the Denver Nuggets paint job. I said we got to run them off the line, and that's two threes. I'm worried about their shooting. Worried about their shooting. Let's get the ball to Jorts. Fry again. Fry is not the best shooter, so. Appreciate everyone for coming to hang out. 6-6, six, six, Louisville, Western Illinois. Rebound Jorts. Price on the fast break. Price to Cone. Cone, the lay -in. it's good. The French sensation, Kim Cohn. Cohn, baby. I love Cohn. Get in the Cohn zone. This year and next year is all Cohn. Next year, 
a lot of Kim Cohn. He'll be the best player on the team, probably. Shorts with the board. Here comes Price. Fry again. Fry hits it. He's got six. This is my first Twitch stream as an affiliate. Cone, long shot. Can't get it to go. Great hands by Fry. Fry on the break. Gets it inside to Cone, who's rejected. Blocked by Hobbs. Take him, Fry. Take him. Price? Price, take it to the rim, bro. Jorts has not scored. We need to get Jorts involved. Playing at the Pepsi Center. Oh, nice pass by Price. Fry finishes. Very nice job playmaking by Price. Gets us the easy bucket to Fry. Fry's having a huge game. This is the best I've seen Fry play, actually. It's his first year starting as a senior. He's a 94 overall. Do you mean college football bender? Damn. If you think Price's shot is weird, which do you see Fulton? Fulton's got a weird shot too. Verdejo checks in for Fry, I love that. Let's keep Fry fresh. Fulton's got a really weird shot. Let's get something going to Jorts, maybe? Feed the big man? Feet, left wing. Verdejo. Verdejo knocks it down. Yeah, I love the Sean Marion comps for Fulton. We're going to move Fulton to the three next year, I think. So he'll be shooting even more. Oh, no. Come on, Jorts. Jorts! There you go. Good contest. Good pass. Good pass by Price, and Cohen lays it in. Price is playing well. 
Leathernecks up five. Let's go. Screen and roll with Jorts. Cone in the post. It's a clear out for Verdejo. Drive. Drive that. Go to the hole. It's a tough shot by Price. Not a great shot. Let's D up. Almost 200 in the stream tonight. Let's get these numbers up. We want to win. We want to face Dayton. One point game. Louisville's on a little run. Can Western respond? Brandon Price, Kim Coe. Fulton shoots it. Can't get it to go. Two oh seven, love it. Big miss. Price the rebound. We're halfway through the first half. Western Illinois up one, 17-16 on Louisville in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Jorts gets his man in the air. Jorts crossover blocked. Man, we gotta get Jorts going. down one. No Kata yet. That's true. Fulton. Fry. Fry's done most of the scoring for us so far. Verdejo and Fry both in. This is right side. Shot clock window. Risky pass. Go up. There you go, Dupree. Price has got four assists. Let's go, Price. Did Alabama win a title in this dynasty? I think they might have won a title. Price, a good free throw shooter, going to the line. Look at the yellow leg band, I love that. Hey, 
Hey, who, if someone wins, uh, create Brownie. We can create Brownie if we want to. Fry is playing the game of his life right now. Let's go, Fry. Christ with the pull! Oh, I love that shot. Really love that shot. Thank you for the clip, Abby. Love it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you too, Lola. Verdejo's giving us some, uh, he's giving us some good minutes. Jorts back in for Dupree. Jorts sprinting onto the floor. Yeah, he's Argentinian. Verdejo's Argentinian, kind of a disappointing recruit, but he's turned into an okay player. If you're above an 80, you're playable. Love the press. Oh yeah, Fulton's jacked up. Jorts? Uh, Jorts not having a good game. We're up 11, though. Uh, thanks, Big Bogut. Big Bogart? Subscription, appreciate that. Really appreciate it. ZW Martin making some cure jokes in the chat. Do we have any fans of the cure in the chat? Rip it. Come on, Verdejo. Ah, wide open. Big board. Big board by Fry. Let's go. He's jacked up. Uh, yeah, Jorts was really good in the tournament last year. But we lost in the Sweet 16. He was good in the first two rounds. Fry is real fired up. 
Oh, uh, two bad misses by Fry. Come on, man. Thank you, Broomstick. Appreciate that, bro. Stop. Oh, big block by Fulton. Six-point game. Western Illinois with the lead. Five minutes left. Jorts. Oh, that was beautiful. Who finished that? Jorts to Fulton with the athletic finish. The freshman, Bernard Fulton. Please clap. Thank you for the subscription. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Jorts can pass. He's an A minus in passing. I think he's the third best passer on the team. Jorts inside puts it in. His first two points of the game, Jorts is on the board. Jordy Jorts. Louisville versus Western Illinois. It's a Sim Dynasty. College Hoops 2K8 is the game. Come join us on Leathernecks Nation. Price Jacks can't get it to go. Rebound Fulton rejected. My custom emote's gonna be Deke Van Shotgun in a Keystone Light. Price, get into the line. Price never gets to the line, I love it. Yeah, let's get some Medina minutes in there. Dupree comes in for Fulton. Dupree's really solid. I feel good about him being the starting center next year. Dupree the board! Dupree! Yes! Inside! Western Illinois versus Louisville. This is a 10 seed versus a 7 seed in the first round of the NCAA tournament 2023. Sim Dynasty. Jorts, outside shot, and he drains it and flexes on him. Jorts with the flex. He can shoot. Jorts likes to shoot. CW Martin's full of nicknames tonight, folks. Full of nicknames. Who you guys creating if you win? You're gonna create yourself, create a character. What are you guys thinking if you win the bracket out? Get it to price, get it to price. Uh, Verdehoe, big game for Verdehoe. Big first half. We're playing him over Keto. Oh, that should be backcourt. Refs don't call it. Price, get the ball out of your hands, man. He's played a lot of minutes in this game so far. Inside, Dupree finishes. Fry with his sixth assist. Fry's playing a hell of a game. Thank you, Halcyon, for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Big block. 
We'll go over the bracket after each game. The bracket is in the year 16 email. After each game, we'll look at the bracket again. Oh, great defense, and they still knock it down. Wow. Barrow with a big shot. Dupree inside, can't get it to go. Christ is a great passer, man. I love Christ's passing ability. Gotta make your free throws that we do. Here's Kada for his debut, Angel Kada. Thank you, RKES. Appreciate the subscription. Leathernecks up eight in the first half. Louisville's really good. This game is not even close to over. Oh, man. What a hit by Louisville. Cone, take him to the hole, man. Take him to the hole. He's dribbling out for the last shot. Western Illinois is going to go into the half with the lead. Kim Cohn. Put it up. Wide open. Put it up. Oh, what a finish by Fry. What a finish. What a finish. Western Illinois. Let's go! Fry, just a monster. Big second half. Cannot let Louisville get hot from three. That's what I'm worried about. Do not let Louisville get hot from three. Oh no. I like that Valanchunas comp. I'll give him a Valanchunas comp. Throwback center, strong as hell. Oh, we call, we call. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Get it to Kata. Rip that, Kata. Come on. Big shot. Big, big shot. Kata, the redshirt freshman from Chicago. Wearing number one like D Rose. Wearing number one like Penny Hardaway. 
Defense. Would you guys want to watch a non-Western Illinois game tonight, like the national title game, if we're not in it? Just a thought. We don't have to. Might be fun with the bracket tournament to watch a non-Western game, I thought. I'm not really sure if I want to do it. I'm just throwing it out there. If we lose tonight, which I don't intend on doing, Kata hit that. Ah. Kraz, thanks for the uh, thanks for the sub. Western with the small lead. I am nervous. I am really nervous. Fry for three can't hit. Jorts the rebound. Jorts inside can't get it to go. Jorts again and one. Jorts. Jorts with the and one. Big time play by George. He's a good free throw shooter, so he drains it. George, two O boards on one possession. Louisville comes back with a half court alley oop layup. Get that trash off my screen. That was garbage. Kim Conan at point guard. Six foot seven. Out of France. Take him, Fulton. Oh, nice pass. Fulton to Kata. Good pass. Western up 58-51, 17 minutes left. First round of the NCAA tournament. I don't know what this emotes thing is, but hopefully it's cool. Cone, Cone hits it. We got to get Cone going. He's only got six. Leathernecks, a ten seed against Louisville. This would be a huge win. I think Louisville's really talented. They're better than us on paper. Oh, defend that. Okay. Jorts has got eight boards. Fry another bucket. I missed this. What happened? Oh, Fry with the oop. That was nasty. Fry with the oop. Thank you, turn to start. Appreciate it. Appreciate the sub. Love Leatherneck Nation for coming out. Eight point lead in the first round of the tournament. Jorts. Kim Cohn. Roberto Jordovic. To the lane, he's got it. Jorts has nine. Leathernecks up 10. The pump fake. A lot of time left, though. A lot of time. Jorts can dunk. Jorts threw on a sick dunk on the first play against Duke. Side. 
All right. I would love to see some subs. Take it, Kata. Jorts the board. Jorts again. Ah, can't get it to go. Thank you for all the clips, Abby. Love it. Gonna put them in the newsletter. Fry? Alright. Fry's going to the line. Fry's having a real nice game. Knock these down, 25. Gotta make your free throws. No threes, guys. Run them off the line. No threes. Blocked by Fulton. Fulton's got three blocks for the freshman. The freshman Fulton. Yeah, Fry's got to make his free throws. One of four isn't good enough. Ah, they got us, but they missed the bunny. Get to Kata, get to Kata. Kata? Brandon Price is going to be well rested. That's a good sign. Ah. I'd love the five times five line. Oh no. Pull up three. Fuck. Barrow getting hot. Hell yeah, George's 10 boards, baby. Inside. Jorts. Jorts inside. Can't get it to go. Western Illinois up six. 13 minutes left. First round of the NCAA tournament. Thank you guys for coming out. We're doing a bracket challenge. We, we'll go through the offseason tonight, too. Oh, no. And here comes Louisville. Four-point game. Our guys look a little tired. We need some easy buckets. Who's going to get us an easy bucket? The Leathernecks offense is laboring right now. Fry. Fry, pass the ball, bro. George for three? Terrible possession. Leathernecks offense does not look good. 29 Sunset, thanks for the sub if I didn't say it earlier. Appreciate it. We need some subs here. Kada. Kada going hard to the rack. He'll go to the line. I like Angel Kada. Chicago guard. Third for Cuffy. Foul report from Abby. Love it. Let's go next. I want to get Brandon Price in the game. That's what I'm worried about. The three-point shooting. Louisville can really stroke it. Jorts to Fry. Can't get it to go. Too easy. But they miss anyway. Kata. 
Kane to get into the line, driving hard. I love it. Let's get some subs here, please. Dupree in for Jorts. I like that. Dupree's always giving us a boost. Kata does attack. He goes hard to the rim in transition. Get to the line, hit your free throws. Easy game. Some big points from Kato when the offense has been struggling here. Star of the team is Jorts. I mean, he averaged 26 a game. He led the whole country in scoring. Broke the program's all-time scoring record. Hopefully he can be an All-American and get me a point. Next year will be pretty good, I think. Next year we don't have a small forward, though, unless we start Verdejo, but I think I'm going to move a power forward to small forward. I think I start Fulton at the three next year in a Sean Marion type role. Fry, Kata for three, Moonball, and he hits it. Kata's not afraid, the freshman out of Chicago. 12 points in the NCAA tournament. Kata is not afraid. Big shot. Kate is from Chicago. Western Illinois up 12, nine minutes left, a lot of time remaining. Brandon Price has not checked in in the second half. Price had a very good first half, I thought. Where's Verdejo? Too. We could use him. Cone, great pass to Fry. And one Fry. And one Fry. Let's go, Fry. The Fry game, baby. Garrick Fry finally makes a free throw. Hell yeah, we got Kofi hanging out. Thank you, Kofi. Young has it left side. Bailey bounces it to the right. Shoots the three. We got a little inside by Kofi. They've got to put an end to this one before this. Thank you, Sophie. Kofi, you're the best. Really appreciate it. Low block. Jorts inside. Can't get it to go. Jorts the rebound. Jorts with 4-0 boards. He's got 11. He's got a double-double for Jorts. Low-scoring game for Roberto Jordan, Georgievic, but... You know, Jorts getting that double-double. Let's go. Western Illinois pulling away. I thought. I honestly thought we were going to lose this game. A lot of time left, though. I'm not, I'm not counting the dub yet. A lot of time left. Oh, the oof. The oop, Kim Cohn to Fry. Western up 19. The bench playing great for Western Illinois. What a performance from the bench at Western. Jorts in the post. Jorts, the turnaround, gets it to go. 
Jorts keeps attacking and now he's getting his buckets up. We hit 300 on the stream. What up, guys? Thank you for coming out. Really appreciate it. Appreciate everyone subscribing. Double figures with a big hit from the corner. I don't know, we're usually pretty good on streams. We've only lost a couple times on a stream. We're facing Dayton tonight if we win this game. Dayton's a two seed, they look really good. 19 point lead, can Western Illinois hold on in the first round? They should be able to. We haven't subbed our guards the entire second half. It's been Kata and Cone. Kata playing point at 6 7. Or Cone playing point, I mean. At 6 7. Jorts inside. Jorts with the facial. Jorts with the poster. Poster Jorts. Give me a poster of Jorts. Abby called it. Poster time, baby. Jorts with a flush. Jort started slow, and now he's balling out. Western Illinois. Up 89-72, five minutes left. If we win, the next stream is Tuesday, I think I said, right? Tuesday? Skips it to the right side. passes it to the wing. We got to beat Dayton tonight. Yeah, we got to beat Dayton tonight. They're going to be tough. If we make the Sweet 16, it's Tuesday. A lot of subs coming in for Western. Cam Medina checking in. Verdejo checking in. Western Illinois up 16, under five minutes left in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Verdejo, oh, almost gets it to go. Oh, I always check out the clips, Abby. Thank you, though. Appreciate the link. Only up 13, four minutes left, game not over. Our guards have not checked out. Let's go to the bigs. Oh, Verdejo, great game off the bench, nine points. Really good game for the man from Argentina. Illinois CPR in the chat, everyone go check out Illinois CPR. Nice guy named Zach, runs a business with his mom, doing good stuff in the community. Check it out if you're in Illinois, Illinois CPR. Twelve point game, three minutes, thirty seconds left. We need to chill, no one shoot unless we have to. Dupre can't get it to go. Why am I nervous right now? I shouldn't be nervous, but I am nervous. Do not give them a three, no threes. 
And then please just run out the clock on offense. 35 second shot clock. Ten point game. Ten point game, three minutes left. Jorts is in, Fry is in, Fulton is in. Why no price in the second half? Jorts inside? Oh my god, how'd he miss? How did he miss? Good defense by Jorts, though. Just run out this clock, baby. Run out this clock. Get us to round two. Jorts posting up a small guy. Hits him with the hook. He's got 17. Jorts has 17. He's getting cooking. Western up 12. 215 left. Oh, great defense by Fry. Here's Medina. Medina. Nice pass. Oh, Cohen can't get it to go. Let's bring it home. We got 300 plus in the chat. I'll show you guys the results from the rest of the bracket after this too. All right, everyone chill. Let's just win this game. We're up 10. Verdejo. Thank you to Chris for correcting me on that. Oh man, Cone with the pull. We didn't need that. Everyone just chill. 130 left. We got 10 point lead. Don't blow it. 35 second shot clock, guys. Just drain it. Oh, great play by Fry. Fry's everywhere. Cone inside, can't get it to go. 115 left in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Come on, Cone. Good timeout. We're up eight with 58 seconds. We do start Price. I don't know why Price hasn't played the second half. Price had a great first half. Cone, the deep shot. What's he doing? What is he doing? That's a good shot normally, but not in these situations. Fry with the steal. And here come the fouls. Hey, Cone's been pretty good this game, guys. Cone has been pretty good. We should win if we can hit our free throws. Just don't give it to Fry at the foul line, I guess. Can Cone hit a free throw? Kim Cone, the junior guard from France, six foot seven, number four. Big free throw. He's had a pretty good game. He's in double figures. He's given us some buckets when we've needed it. I love watching Cone play. Cone's fun. Couple big free throws by Kim Cone. The Leathernecks are gonna do it. The Leathernecks are gonna win. We're playing Dayton in round two. Tonight. It's going down right now, right after this. We'll do a quick look at the bracket. Cohen, we need one more three here, buddy. Or one more free throw, I mean. Cone is money from the line.
Man, two possession game, 24 seconds left. Fry fouled. Fry, let's make a free throw, man. We need to make one free throw here. Fry hits it. Fry hits it when he needs to. One more, Fry. We are playing Dayton in round two tonight. We're going to look at the bracket real quick, and then we're going to play. Nice block. Nice block. Fulton's got, what, four blocks? Fulton, he's everywhere on defense. Let's see if Fulton shoots free throws weird, too. I haven't seen him shoot a free throw yet. He is jacked for a freshman. The Sean Marion comp exists for Fulton. He had a very good game. Four blocks. That's huge. Let's go. Big win. I did not know if we were going to win that game, man. I did not know. But Fry came to play. 26 points, 8 assists, 5 boards, 2 steals. What a game for senior small forward Garrick Fry. What a game, the blog team. What a game. Quick look at the stats. Man, Cuffy went absolutely bananas for Louisville, huh? But we just had the advantage inside. Their center didn't do too much. George goes for 17 and 14. Kim Cohn with 14. Price doesn't play in the second half for some reason. Still finishes with 10 and 5, two steals. Great minutes out of Kata. Great minutes out of Dupree. Great minutes out of Verdejo. Let's look at the team stats real quick so Steven can uh, run his stats if he wants to. We did not shoot well from three, and we still dominated a better team. That is really encouraging. Look at the points in the paint. 46 to 26. We did a good job taking care of the ball. We did a good job forcing turnovers. 99-91. I'm just going to blow my nose real quick. What up, guys? Let's see the first round scores. So obviously we won't have the bracket scores, but we can see uh, everything else. Here's how we match up with Dayton. They're the number two seed. We are rated better than them. Doesn't mean we're going to win, but... We do have the slight advantage. Let's look at pep talks. I think we're good on pep talks. We'll give one to Kata just cause. And then let's look at the uh, tournament tree. So our first Sweet 16 team is USC. I had that one. I had USC. We got Georgia Tech, Hawaii, NC State, Oregon, Santa Clara, Gonzaga. USC beats George Washington by one. USC going to the Sweet 16, the Trojans. Kansas, Kentucky, round two, what a game. Look at that, 97 versus 98. UAB, Seton Hall, Seton Hall pulls the upset over Xavier. Who called that one? I didn't. Ohio State, LSU, Western versus Dayton on the other side of the bracket. Clemson is into the Sweet 16. They blow out DePaul. Tough end for the Blue Demons. UConn, Texas, great game. Iowa State, South Florida. Duke, Nova, great game. Miami, Michigan, great game. All right, we're doing this now. 
We are running it right now. Rotations still look good. I don't know why Price didn't play in the second half. go our team unity has gone up a point Dayton is great team unity 96 I've never seen team unity that high that is scary that is scary let's go Western we're playing the two seed we're going right now let's go Western's the home team. Great game out of the bench for Western Illinois last time. Kim Cohn, up to a 90 with an in-game boost. Wow, 96 shooting guard, Quinn Phelps. That's a tough matchup. It's gonna be a tough game. Let's go. Dayton versus Western. for three. We're playing in NC State's home gym as a shout out to Steven. Jorts inside gets it to go. Two for Jorts. Dayton off to a quick start early. Playing Dayton at NC State's home floor. Jorts. Jorts, nasty. He's got all six. Jorts is coming out like a man on a mission right now. Hitting the fadeaway like he's Dirk Nowitzki. D. Jorts or Dirk? Love it. Great comment. It feels like we're playing NC State because it's the same colors. We got 
to play some defense, though. Not a lot of defense so far out of the Leathernecks. Fulton in, inside. Let's go, Fulton. Fulton gets it to go. The freshman, Bernard Fulton, might start on the wing next year. I know, Steven. It does look like NC State. It's weird. The Wolfpack remain in the NCAA tournament. USC and Clemson onto the Sweet 16 if you had that in your bracket. Block for Fulton. Fulton with the swap. Price going inside. Yeah, I don't know why any why the uh, why this game is like it is. I don't know about the venues. I don't get it. We played a Final Four at Albany one year, so. Price, a nice free throw. Price should be well rested. Only played 19 minutes last game. Western Illinois up 10 to 9 against Dayton early in the first. We've never streamed a game at home, no. Tough hit for Dayton. We're gonna start streaming the season openers now every year though, if you guys will come hang out for it. Jorts. Dayton looking really good early. Nice pass by Dupree. Fry to Price. Price. Dupree inside. Picked off. Oh, Dupree swats it. Dupree rim protection. Dupree's an A in shot blocking. That's, I think, the best shot blocker we've ever had. Usually we don't have good shot blockers for whatever reason. Even though we always have great centers. We usually have more offensive centers. Jorts for three. Jorts rips the three. Jorts rips the three. Yeah, Fulton's a very good shot blocker. DJ or Ortiz. That's a funny George nickname. Leathernecks down two. Oh, Price blocks it. The point guard with the block. Brandon Price. Feed it inside to Dupree. Cone. Here's Fry in the post. Fry the hook shot. Can't get it to go. Dayton up two. Dayton up four? Two big lineup, of course Deke Van loves it. Oh, Jorts to Price. Jorts is such a good passer. He's an A as a passer. Jorts dime. Jorts is becoming a fan favorite. But I think we gotta go to the Sweet 16 to really make him a, a legend. He did make the Sweet 16 last year. 
takes it out to the wing. We lost to Texas. Takes the shot. Jorts is too skinny to be Jokic. Jorts is only 238. Who's a good skinny center? Bargnani? I don't know if I like that one. I'm still thinking of a Jorts count. Oh man. Dayton. Dayton coming out hot. Western Illinois might be in some trouble. Dina. DeMontis Sabonis for Jorts? It's a decent one. How about LaMarcus Aldridge for Jorts? I kind of like LaMarcus Aldridge as my Jorts count. LA could shoot college threes, though. He's the king of the long two. Is, does Jorts have NBA range or just college range? That's the question. Cool. LMA was a great player, guys. I'm a Bulls fan. We drafted him and traded him for Tyrus Thomas, which I thought was a good move at the time. Granted, I was like, what, 18 maybe? What year was that, 06? I was 19. Let's make a run here, Leathernecks. Price with the ball. Price to Cone. Can't get it to go. Both teams cold right now. We got 300 on the chat. Medina, nice fade for Medina. Cam Medina with the fade. Hey, Jorts has had two of the best dunks in program history. I need some water. Kevin backs 
in with the shot. Western is cold offensively. What are we going to do about this offense? All I'll say for Jorts' place in history is that legends are created in March. We need a deep run for Jorts to be one of the best ever. Can he take out the number two seed in the round of 32? Dayton up 27-19. Oh, great pass by Kada. Great pass. Fry comes in for Cone. Man, we can't get a stop. We cannot get a stop. That is problematic. Fry inside gets it to go. Fry's on the board with two. We do not want to end this run yet. We want to win. Big time block. Get the board after the block. Another block, Jorts. Get the board. Thank you. Love the defense out of the necks. It's about time. Fry inside. Fry to Kata. Kata the baseline jumper. He's got it. Leathernecks down five. I like Kata. Kata's gonna be the first guard off the bench next year. Jorts with the block. He's got three blocks. You think Jorts is soft on defense? Get out of here. No, he's not. He can patrol the back line. He can protect the rim. It's a block party for the Leathernecks. Fry, the crossover. Fry, the spin move. Verdejo hits the contested jumper. What's Verdejo's nickname? He needs a nickname. Ho? Maybe Joe. Joe's a good nickname for him. Vino? I like Vino. Grapes? Vino. People like Vino. Alright, we're calling him Vino. Nicknames gotta be organic. Gotta be an organic nickname. Jorts is actually the first nickname the chat didn't decide. Michael Levin decided that one. It's perfect though, so we kept it. Vino misses. Leathernecks down three. V-Day is nice, I like that. We need a run out of the Leathernecks. Dayton has been cold. Kata. Kata. 
Try the pick and roll. We can't get anything going here. Jorts for three. Jorts ties it up with a three. Jorts rips his second three. I believe that's his second three. Is that Jorts' second three? We got Price coming in for Medina. Jorts Anthony Towns. Cat's a pretty good one. Oh, we got Zay in the chat. What up, Zay? Everyone follow Zay for some draft takes. One of my favorites on Twitter for some NBA draft takes. Big Jackson Hayes fan, if I remember correctly, Zay. Oh, Jorts! Jorts! What a block! He's got four blocks. Jorts, Kata back to Jorts. Jorts, the post move. Gets it to go. Jorts with 14 in the first half. The Leathernecks have taken the lead. Gotta get the board there. Gotta get the board. Legends are made in March, guys. Legends are made in March. Jorts is very good, though. I mean, he is better than Hoyer, I would say. I'd say he's better than Hoyer. Price for three. Can't get it to go. I don't like that shot. Tough, tough game right now. Dayton versus Western. Round to 32. Oh man, Duffy. Rip it, rip it. Ah, Price, gotta make it. I'd say Jorts is a $4 player now for sure. Tough to unseat Deke Van for the $5 mark, but... Vino, Vino can't get it to go. Rebound, Fry, and he finishes inside. Garrick Fry, what a finish. He's got four points. Oh no, wide open, their best player. He misses. Fry's hitting the glass hard, he's got four. Tie game, 121 left in the first half. Brandon Price in the Leathernecks. Jorts inside, can't get it to go. K to the tip, no. Jorts inside again, no. Biggest disappointment? I don't know. Borislav Grimes? He was rated good, but he didn't come through in March. But Grimes was off the bench on a title team, I think, which definitely counts. All right, let's get the last shot here, guys, but make it a good shot. Oh, you had Jorts wide open. You got to throw that pass. Had him wide open. Tie game. Dayton, Western Illinois, round to 32. Doesn't count. Tie game going into halftime, 34-34. Low scoring game. Western can't shoot only two of ten from deep. 
This is a dog fight, man. We might lose this game. I don't know. Jorts is scoring, but no one else is. Jorts. Look at those moves. Player of the half. We need him to score 30 if we're going to win this game. Love that fadeaway. That was so nasty. All right, tie game. 20 minutes left. NCAA tournament. I am nervous. I am really nervous. Verdejo. Price. Jorts, long two, and he's got it. Jorts with the long two. Like a young LaMarcus Aldridge with a long two. He's got 16 on the night. The leading scorer in the NCAA this year. Will he be an All-American? Which would get me a coaching point. Oh no! Get the board! We blocked it instead of getting the board. That was tough. That was goofy. Don't love that shot selection. Do not love that shot selection. No. Too easy. Too easy. Fry for three. Can't get it to go. Jorts the rebound. Jorts the putback. And he's got it. Jorts with 18. Keeping the Leathernecks alive almost single handedly. Appreciate everyone hanging out tonight. I appreciate the subs. And one for Dayton. Dupree comes in. I like this move. I really like Dupree. Price with the crossover. Fry. Take him to the hoop, Fry. You got the clear out. Oh. Oh, we got a four-point play opportunity. Vertigo. Fino with the four-point play opportunity. I've never seen that before. Knock it down for the four-point play. Vino. Out of Argentina. Four-point play. Let's go. Vino. Verdejo. Out of Argentina. Four-point play for the lead. Western Illinois up one. Can they go on a run? Can they do it? Price to Jorts. Jorts backs down his man from the elbow. Jorts! Oh, I thought he was going to dunk that. He kicks out. Verdejo again from the corner. Verdejo! Breakout performance! Fino, baby! Fino! Seven points on the last two possessions. 
Who saw the Vino breakout coming? Not me. He's the worst guy on the team, I think, by rating. Maybe it's Kata. Vino is a sophomore. Keep going to him. Run that play again. Vino corner three. Looking like Phil Powell out there. Price to Dupre. Oh, take that, Vino. But Fry knocks it down. Here comes Western. They're up six. 15 minutes left. 16 minutes left in the round of 32. Can Western reach the Sweet 16? I'd like to see Jorts come out here and get a little rest. We got Medina we could put in. Oh no, wide open three. They miss Jorts the board, his sixth rebound of the night. Can the Leathernecks separate against Dayton? Fry inside, rejected. Fry gets the rebound, puts it up, no. The defense for Western Illinois is starting to get better, but Phelps, oh my God. How did Phelps miss that? Their best player for Dayton. Go inside to Dupre, go inside to Dupre. Fry for three, no, can't get it to go. The international is paying off on this team. I like some international recruits. The thing is, they just develop a little slower, I think. Oh boy, big three for Dayton. We got a three-point game. Jorts is making his case for the best center we've ever had. Got Legends are made in March, guys. Legends are made in March. Fry, again. Can't get it to go. I'm still nervous about this game. I am really nervous still. Big steal, Dupre. He's got three steals. Vino with the turnover. Oh, no. Come on. Too many Medinas on the dance floor right now. Phelps, releases. Phelps, no. Oh, damn. What a tip. What a tip for Dayton. It's a one-point game with 13 minutes left. I'd like to see Jorts get a breather now. That would be ideal. Fry? No. Nice rebound for Price, the point guard. This is why you recruit a 6'5 point guard. This is round of 32 game. Round of 32. Oh, 
Western Illinois up four, 12 minutes, 45 seconds left. The 10 seed Leathernecks out of the Summit League. Lost a game in the Summit this year, actually. Oh, that was a big miss. Make him pay. Oh my God, go to the hoop. All right, Vino, Vino going to the line. Knock these down, let's see if he can shoot free throws. Or if he only makes four point plays. Big hit for Vino. Vino giving us great minutes. The sophomore from Argentina. A win you can count on, making a play for a starting job next year. Very good performance so far out of Vino. Western Illinois' defense is coming up big lately. Can they keep it on lockdown? Another miss for Dayton. Here come the Leathernecks. Price, Price to the lane. Oh, they call him with the charge. They call a charge. I don't believe it. Yeah, I'm thinking Fulton at the three next year. Just to balance the lineup. Otherwise, our two best players are bigs off the bench. So I'm thinking Fulton at the three next year. Start Medina. But we're going to give Vino a lot of minutes. So you want to start Kata at the one? I probably don't want to sim the Sweet 16 game. Probably don't want to do that, if you guys don't mind. But we still got to win this game. Three-point game. 11 minutes left. Vino for three. He knocks it down. Vino, what a breakout performance. He's got 14 off the bench for the Leathernecks. Sweet 16's coming on Tuesday, guys. Sweet 16 on Tuesday. Appreciate everyone coming to hang out. Leathernecks up four. Dupre inside. I really like Dupre. He's a very solid setter. Just an enforcer down low. It's nice to have an enforcer. Sydney Dupre. Oh no. Man, Dayton keeps missing. We gotta hope they stay cold. Kim Cohn inside to Dupre. Dupre over the smaller defender, can't get it to go. Chase with the rebound, he's got 10 boards for Dayton. Dayton down six with just under 10 minutes left. Cone to Price. Price pulls up. Gets it to go. Price has got 11. Brandon Price is playing a pretty good game once again. We got almost 350 in the stream. This is a round of 32 game. Dayton with the finish. Western Illinois up six, nine minutes left. Fulton, Medina, and Fry. We got a lot of jacked dudes coming in. 
Jorts has been quiet as a scorer lately. Has he been out? He's out now, I think. Jorts can't get, or Cone can't get it to go. Medina, the rebound and the putback. Cam Medina, six points. Cam Medina, kind of underrated. 6'9", 250, can really handle, pass as well. Dayton misses again. Kim Cohn on the break. Kim Cohn, the layup, it's good. Cohn's on the board, his first two points. Western Illinois up 10, 8.20 left. Sweet 16, if we win, would be Tuesday. Same time, stream. We'll stream the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight if we win. Long way to go. Very long way to go. Jorts checks in for Fulton. Only a short break for Jorts. He needs to take us home. No more streams tonight. This is the last stream. Two games. That's all we do. Appreciate you guys being interested, though. Appreciate you hanging out. Jorts to Kim Cohn, who has another bucket. Kim Cohn, two big shots. Dayton responds quickly. Western Illinois. Up eight, 7.40 left. Cone to Medina, Medina. Funky Cam Medina. That was a suggested nickname. Medina. Price. Price gets it to go long two. He's got 13, Brandon Price is playing a good game. Did he bank that? I guess he banked it. We're into the cone zone. Ten point game. Seven minutes left. Dayton for three. No. Cone the board. Dayton is cold. Can Western Illinois put him away? Jorts. Jorts inside. He's got it. Jorts with 22. Jorts with a very good game. Dayton hanging in. Dayton will not be buried. The Flyers, the number two seed in the Midwest. Fry's gonna get to the line. That's nice. I love getting to the line. Knock one down, Fry. Fry knocks it down. Derek Fry, the senior small forward. First year as a starter. He backed up Kleinsvig for the last few years. Western Illinois up 12, 620 left in the round of 32. Cone. That was a big hit. Big hit by Dayton. Can Western Illinois respond? Kim Cohn. To Price, he's blocked. The slow release of Brandon Price. Man, Dayton had a shooter wide open from three. Didn't see him. Big miss. Can Western Illinois get a bucket start to put him away? Try to cone. Cone. Price, hit it, Price, hit it. Price with a big hit. Price with a big hit. Free throw line from long range. 
This is my first stream as a Twitch affiliate. Do your thing. Appreciate everyone coming out. Sweet 16 would be Tuesday if we can hold on. Same time. Medina gets it to go. Cam Medina. Funky Cam Medina. Uses the crossover. Leathernecks up 14. Four minutes left. Can Western Illinois do it? Reach the Sweet 16 for the second year in a row. Oh, what a tip by Medina. Medina's playing great. How about the bench? Medina, Vino, Dupre? Bench is playing real well. Kato was great in the last game. Thank you, Jay Walker, for subscribing. Appreciate that, bro. Fry on the break. Fry, where's the foul? Where's the foul? He got killed. Oh man, Kata gets laid out on the screen. Oh, but we recover to block the shot. What a block. Western Illinois' defense is everywhere in the second half. Leathernecks up 16. Cam Medina. He gets it to go. Cam Medina's got 12. Medina, what a performance. Funky Cam Medina. The sophomore out of Michigan. That was way too open. Way too open. No, take care of the ball. Come on. All right, 13 point game. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Can Western Illinois hold on? No. What is happening? Take care of the ball. Oh my God, please take care of the ball. No, I don't like the shot. What are we doing? Western Illinois up 11, 210 left. Do not let Dayton get all the momentum in the last two minutes. We need to stop. I wouldn't mind a timeout. Use the clock to your advantage. Use the clock to your advantage. Time clicking away. Oh, big play, Dupre. Vino to Kata. Kata pulls up and hits it. Kata, a nice baseline jumper. Bench giving us a big, big lift. Blog team, baby, blog team. We're going for our second straight Sweet 16 appearance. It's gonna be Tuesday night if we win. That might do it. That might do it. Leathernecks. Leathernecks. We're going to try to have the email out tomorrow. Everyone subscribe to the series. It's free on Substack. Jorts comes back in. Total team effort so far tonight. Up 12 with a minute left. Time to take care of the ball. And we should have this one. 
Drain that clock. Do not shoot it. Gets it on the elbow. Kick it back out. Don't shoot. Dupre, you just don't need to do that, bro. You just don't need to do that. Oh, no. Nine-point game. 46 seconds left. Need to take care of the ball. I did not really think this team could make the Sweet 16. Of course, I picked them to win it all. I'm not going to pick against my team in the bracket challenge, but... Jorts? Vino! Vino with 16 off the bench. What a game for Vino. Kata to Fry. Fry only 10 today. Team effort. Fry dominates the first round. Teammates pick him up in the second round. Western Illinois is going to do it. Sweet 16 is Tuesday night. We'll stream the Elite Eight if we win too. I'll do a press conference after the game. Western's going to do it. We're going to the Sweet 16 for the second year in a row. George showing off the range. He's got 24. And Western has done it. We'll go over the bracket, and I'll do a quick presser if anyone wants to hang out for a little bit. The 10 seed is into the Sweet 16. Let's quickly go to Greg Gimble in the studio with the Pontiac Game Changer I'm just sending a tweet and then we'll uh, do a quick presser. Leather next. What's popping in the chat? Haven't seen the chat in a minute. Uh, Fulton, uh, yeah, Fulton kind of was a non-factor, but that's okay. Jorts, huge game, four blocks. What a game for Jorts. Medina and Vino pick us up. The four-point play, never seen that before. Cone didn't really do anything, but you know what? It was a team effort. The bench picked us up. Let's get the team stats for Steven. They shot 12 of 35, 12 of 34 from three. That shocks me. It felt like they were ice cold from three. They only shoot 36% from the field. We don't miss a free throw. That's good to see. We own the glass. We own bench points. Dominating inside. All right. Let's uh, let's check out the rest of the NCAA tournament picture. We're gonna save it. Who are we facing? First of all, let's save it. You guys wanna watch the selection show? I'll watch the selection show if you guys wanna hang out for a little bit. That could be fun, right? Let's watch the selection show. Coach, what do you say to the Jorts haters? 
who said he's only about his own numbers in the draft stock. I mean, Jorts became a legend tonight, right? Jorts against Louisville, 17 and 14. Jorts against Dayton, 24 and 11. Four blocks, five assists. Fry with the great game against Louisville. And then it was Jorts in the bench in round two. Blog team, baby, blog team. Yeah, let's watch it. Let's find out who our opponent is. What up, Clark Kellogg? Welcome, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel here with my partner, Clark Kellogg. Just ahead on the special NCAA tournament edition of College Hoops tonight, brought to you by State Farm. We're going to the Sweet 16. We'll review some of the great matchups in the first weekend of March. After this show, we'll look at the bracket real quick. I'm going to enter in the scores. We begin with the player who dominated the first week of the tournament. Hopefully I'll get a, uh, a email out tomorrow. The After the show we put on in this first weekend, he played a huge role in his team's advancement into the next round. Thank you for the subscription, Yoli. As usual, the first weekend of March Madness had what are sure to be some of the most dramatic contests of the entire tournament. Our first game was an outstanding match. Sour beer, I love sour beers. Norfolk State. Sometimes you see a team come out flat in the first round game, but that was not the case here. They looked fresh, and this seemed more like a mid-round game to me, Greg. Connecticut did a tremendous job in the rebound department. It was truly a dominant performance on the glass. They showed great hustle and determination every time the shot went up on either end. That's always an area that can really be an indicator of a team's performance, and the rebounding numbers told the tale in this one. Connecticut onto the Sweet 16, it looks like. Next up was another exceptional tournament contest. Seton Hall overpowered Xavier. This game needed the full clock to decide who was going to come out as the winner. The action was so back and forth that the crowd. Who are we playing in the Sweet 16? I got to know. Entire game. Daniels was a man possessed. His 29 points led the team. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handed. I had Xavier in that game, I think. A game situation like this was stupendous. This isn't a preseason tournament, Greg. This is the big day. He stepped up in a way that few players can in this kind of spotlight. And for that... You guys think we should do a bracket challenge every year? I think it could be fun. As long as the app works. Now let's turn our attention to a few of the huge battles upcoming this week in the Sweet 16. Kansas back in the Sweet 16 again. I think we would play Kansas in the Elite Eight. If we win, if they win. We always play Kansas. Let's go UAB. I'd love a UAB win. They are a tough, tough team to score against. If you don't squeeze the orange, they'll take... We do always beat Kansas on the streams, though. We always beat Kansas. Duke, round. Michigan. Be a Fats. Both Fats is last stand. Their position among the nation's elite teams. That is a big time game. I'd watch that one. We won't watch it, but it'd be fun. Did Miami lose? Duke would be my pick here. They are so strong on the inside that I believe they'll be just too tough to match up with. It would really surprise me if that talent is. I had Miami in the uh, final four. That's our show, everyone. For all of oh, us, nothing on the next. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the tournament. We'll see you next week on College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Who do we face? Who do we face on Tuesday? Ohio State, the Buckeyes. Let's get a quick look at the Buckeyes. Ooh, they're 98 overall. Damn. I'm surprised to see they're that good. Let's see if any of my guys went up. I think Dupre maybe went up? Did any of these guys go up? I was hoping they would, maybe not. We're gonna move Wilkie Henry to the two next year. This guy, also red shirting, A minus potential. He was our Juco recruit last year. The Ohio State University. Let's look at the tournament tree real quick. Western Illinois versus Ohio State. Ohio State blows out LSU, wow. Kansas UAB, Kansas beats Kentucky, UAB beats Seton Hall. Santa Clara versus USC, two double digits. Gonzaga goes down, I had Gonzaga in the final four. 
NC State, Georgia Tech. NC State makes it to the Sweet 16, upsetting Oregon. Georgia Tech takes care of business versus a tough Hawaii team. So Georgia Tech, NC State, Santa Clara, USC, Kansas, UAB, Western Illinois, Ohio State, Vanderbilt, Ole Miss. I picked Ole Miss in this game. Vanderbilt beats St. Joe's, or I'm sorry, Ole Miss beats St. Joe's. Vanderbilt beats Cincy, blows them out. Washington State versus Clemson, Wazoo versus Clemson. Texas South Florida. Texas wins by a point against UConn. Wow! Texas beats UConn. Texas beats UConn. I want no part of Texas, man. Texas is scary. They beat us last year. Duke, Michigan. What did Fats do last game? Fats had 12 last game. What about Fats in round one? Fats had 12 in round one. Michigan's still alive after beating Miami. And that's it. That's all we got for you. We're saving it. I'm going to update the app with all the winners. And then uh, I'm going to put it in the newsletter tomorrow, I hope. Appreciate everyone coming out. Let's look at Ohio State's roster real quick. What's Ohio State look like? Oh, they got good bigs. That always scares me. Yeah, Ohio State's legit. A lot of juniors in that lineup. We got a Chicago kid at point who's 6'4". Can I show Santa Clara's roster? What conference is Santa Clara in? Santa Clara, Moses Hurley, what a name. Star center out of Nashville. They got a lot of bigs, not a lot of guards. Pretty good team. We are on to the Sweet 16. I will see you guys, I hope, on Tuesday. Next, looking for banner number three. Blog team, baby. I always save this game like 50 times. All right, I'm done in the stream. Love you guys. Thank you guys for coming to hang out. Appreciate everyone. Uh, if we win, we play Kansas in the Elite Eight. If we beat Ohio State. You know it's Kansas. Yeah, we can do a presser if you guys want to talk, but... I'll see you guys. We can do a presser if you want to ask me anything. Coach, how much of your success this season can you attribute to switching on Man... The switch to Man D? Yeah, I love it. Love the Man to Man defense. The zone... The zone's for busters, man. No one likes his zone. Start bench cut Terrell Nelke Lubos. I'm going to start Nelke. Bench Lubos. Cut Terrell. If this team makes the final four, will you be drinking? We need year eight vibes. Yeah, I'm still in Iowa. Everyone wants me to get Malort. I'm actually driving home to Chicago on Friday, so then the Malort will be flowing. You want on camera, Mrs. Charisma? No, you don't want on camera. Can we get a damn four, small forward who can consistently hit a three? I mean, we don't, you know, we don't only recruit shooters, it's hard to tell. Coach, coach, how's the bench breakout changing next year's plan? So the plan for next year, I think, we have Fulton, Medina, and Dupre in the front court. Then we also have Timon Sutamu, my A-minus potential Juco five-star. I think that we just start Fulton at the three, Medina at the four. 
Dupre at the five. We're gonna bring Vino off the bench. We're gonna bring Timon off the bench as our lone big man. We'll have uh, Angel Kata, and then we'll move Wilkie Henry to two guard. And we're gonna ball out. That's what's happening. Coach, how do you get this team to slow down with decent sized leads in a late game? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think the highest rated player in program history is a tie between Estelle, Terrell, and maybe someone else. Maybe Burt, 96s. They're all 96s. Coach, what if I win the bracket challenge? I'm obviously creating myself as a stud point guard out of Chicago. All right. I'm going to end the stream. Catch you guys later. Thank you, everyone, so much for coming out. This was super fun. We're doing it again Tuesday, Ohio State. Let's go. Kinsutamu be our next great big if he ever starts. We have so many guys in front of him. Later, my friends.